Uh, so, all right, YouTube, we're going to play some Rug Drakes today. Um, I started out playing Jonathan Job's deck from the SCG, but I found myself uh, wanting to have more payoff, so I was playing green. I really like this card in the deck, so I kind of want to lean into it with Growth Spirals. Playing Niv ahead of schedule, so... So yeah, we're going to give this a try. I decided to cut the dive downs, move those to the sideboard because we have less creatures we want to protect because um, we kind of just want to like land some big creatures. Hopefully they provide a little bit of card advantage and then just go along with these Hydroid Craces. So yeah, so we, we just move these to the, just for the control matchup. So we're going to jump into the league though and start, start playing. So competitive standard... Join League, Rug Drakes. Play this while I'm getting my getting paired up. I'm gonna get myself a drink. A little parched. So I think the big problem with the Drakes deck in the metagame right now is that it has a hard Esper control matchup and it struggles at like being on the draw against Sultai. I think it's pretty solid against uh, Nexus of Fate decks after sideboard. And, um, but it just struggles at beating, oh, what's up, Philly boy? Um, and then I think this green version is going to help because it allows you to like shoot ahead on mana so you can play creatures and then be ahead of Vivian, and um, just be able to overpower them with a big hydrate crisis. We're officially out of my realm of expertise. <laughs> yeah. I think that Liliana the Veil is just not very good in Modern right now. I think it's very good in the Shadow Mirror, and if that's what you're worried about, then play it. Like, it's insane in the mirror. I don't think it's very good many other places. Okay. We won the die roll. All right. Uh, we're going to keep it, but we need to hit here. <clears throat> oh, I need to update the cardboard live. Extensions, my extensions, cardboard live. Um, uh, clear and start over. God, one of these days I'll have this all together. Okay. This deck's also worse against, like, Mono Red, because you just take more damage from your lands. But, like, for some reason, Mono Red is just, like, not a part of standard at the moment. <clears throat> Which I think is kind of wild. But it looks like we're about to get Legion's Landing. All right. I think I'm just going to play two Terramanders. And then chart a course next turn, looking for a, um, looking for either a way to slingshot us ahead with mana, or uh, or like a red source. Yes, I draw. I always draw against Phoenix. Well, no, burn burn wins the game before Liliana the Veil matters. Okay, that's a nice draw. So I could just draw two, but I kind of want to just pump my Terramander, but I didn't have a spell that I wanted to get rid of. So we're not blocking a Danto, at least not yet. So we're just going to attack. And I think I'm going to shock this right now. Like, I don't want my opponent to go land Venerated Loxodon, and I'm going to kill this anyways this turn. So I'm just going to do this now. No, you don't. You don't. You want to draw against the Phoenix decks. It's more that, like, the Phoenix decks want to draw against you. Not that you want to draw against the Phoenix decks, if that makes sense. 
So we might have to start doing some blocking now and trying to propel ourselves to Nivmizit, though that was a pretty nice draw. So how does this work? The chosen creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. So is it better for me to try to block out of this or to make it so this doesn't flip? I kind of want to make it so this doesn't flip and then try to trade here. Okay. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited, tried to block here, and then... But... So do I want to, I want to attack with two. Leave these back. I'm going to take three more here. No, you don't want to try to be Grixis Control against a Phoenix deck because they just, their resources recur things back. What you do want is you want to, like, us being on the on the draw against Grixis is, against Phoenix, is more hurting them because they need a lot of resources to bring back their cards. Also, um, also, like, your deck is full of card disadvantage now that you're playing like Faithless Looting and Surgical Extraction because you're you're losing the card economy battle. Jesus. That's rude. That's rude. Now we have lava coil. Let's just go land, look for land in Lava Coil. So we either need, we need like Lava Coil, Shock. So if we can get to Niv Mizzet, maybe. I'm just going to go like this and then hope that we hit Land Drop plus Lava Coil or Land Drop, Shock. Yeah, no, we're good. <clears throat> I cut two Street Rates and a Lightning Bolt and I bring in three Surgicals. Okay. So against this deck, we want Shiv and Fire. Fiery Cannonade, N Crushing Canopy, and we probably don't want our next and last Niv. Counter spells aren't good. I don't think Terramander is very good in this matchup. And Niv Mizzet isn't that good. I don't really know how to sideboard super well with this deck yet. So like I don't know if I'm supposed to go like full control and uh, try to like slingshot to Niv Mizzet. Crushing Canopy is only for killing their enchantments. Sometimes they have Healer's Hawk, so I don't know if it's that good. Maybe I still want two niv to try to go over the top. Like, uh, get a Growth Spiral play. I think I'm going to try that. On the play, I'm going to keep in a lot of niv -Mizzet. I if, if somebody told me they wanted to... I used to board out Snapcaster Mages. I just went with what... Um, I brought out two Street Wraiths and a Lightning Bolt right now. I'm going to keep this hand. We need green mana, or we need blue mana, but we've got two draw steps to hit it. We have 22 lands in our deck. <clears throat> yes. What do I want to do next turn? I really want to find a growth spiral. Because if I growth spiral, if I get myself. So I'm just going to play this tapped. And then I'm going to shoot this. And then I'm going to chart a course, hopefully off of our chart a course, and two other land drops and two other draws. Or our, char our chart a course, two draws, and our draw step, we hit a growth spiral and a land. <coughs> All right, well, there's half of it. So I think we want niv -Mizzet. And I think we're getting to the part of the game where we don't want Shock. And I think we want Krasis to be on the battlefield. I could just ditch a Shock and then go Shock Opt or Hydroid Krasis. Yeah, I think I'm just going to ditch a Shock. Play this. Oh no, I already never played land this turn. Okay. That's all right. So next turn we can just craze this for two. Okay. 
all right we're gonna kill this yeah I think I'm just gonna crisis like it doesn't interact th this well in the battlefield but it guarantees using all of our mana and we just want to bridge the gap I think to get to this niv -Mizzet. It is nice with this Hydroid Crisis and the Crackling Drakes. You have four plays that on turn four you can just, like, jam. I don't think you need to threaten play ASAP against that deck. Um, so I could just... I'm just going to play Crackling Drake. Like, I think this game is moving in a direction that we like it. And, like, I don't really want to spend a bunch of mana to hit this. I should have attacked. Because, like, if they go... Well, I guess this threatens... But if they just go... Yeah, see, I should have attacked. So stupid. Because I'm not I'm not chump blocking here. Not yet, at least. I should have... They should be at two less life. <clears throat> okay, we don't want this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this because um, I don't, I want to, I should have played my tap lane. I'm all over the place right now. I should have left this up. <clears throat> I want to wait until I can get some value off my niv -Mizzet. Yeah, I think you need, you, you can't, I think you need Street Wraith. So what does this do? This kills my... Oh, okay. <clears throat> I think because this is not a, like, because I can't do this now, I'm just going to go, like, I want to play niv -Mizzet next turn, but then I guess I can't even do that. Oh, they get it back? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know they got it back. I thought I got it back because they stole it from me, but they're the controller. Didn't know that worked. Um, I guess I'm just going to attack, and then I'm going to upkeep, shiv, and fire this, kick it. My opponent says, welcome to MTG. What a meanie. <clears throat> well... Thank you for the YouTube subscription. And I'm going to upkeep hit this. <clears throat> We're going to use a counter spell. Okay, unbreakable, sure. Okay. They have one card left. And we have Niv Mizzet, so like... Don't kill my dude. And if we untap, we should. Yeah, they killed my dude. What a tilt. All right. Hydroid Crisis would be good. Niv Mizzet would be good. Um, done. So let me go look at my sideboard here. I have one crushing canopy still in. I'm gonna do this now because I can hit lava coil to deal with this. Um, I'm gonna put this in the bottom. All right, shock's not bad. <clears throat> okay. I guess I should turn off my auto yield because I might wanna do something here. Hydroid Crisis. Chart, of course, is a lot of Lux. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we take this. Uh, I don't know what they could have, but I'm just going to jam this. Though, next turn... 
If they have the formidable thing, they kill me. If I wait until next turn, I get to kill this Banalish Marshal with niv -Mizzet, guaranteed. So it's like, do I want to lose to Unbreakable? Or do I want to lose, or do I want to like not get value off my niv -Mizzet? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know how many of these they play. Like, I don't know if they have like three or four of these. I'm going to wait. <clears throat> oh, second Marshall did it too. That's nice. Now, um, which one do I want to do? Do I want to shock or do I want to lava coil? Probably, sh I probably should just lava coil. Well, if I shock it, hit this, they have the unbreakable, but they didn't do that last turn. So let's me draw and do more things. I'm just going to shock it. Because if I shock, they do the unbreakable, then I hit a spell, I still kill this. But Lava Coil, it definitely kills it. So let's just 100% let's just kill this thing. <clears throat> All right, they scooped it up. So they were probably just like grossly flooding out. <clears throat> well, it's good that we know how that works now. So on the draw, I don't know if I want another copy of Crushing Canopy or if I want a or if I want if I want to cut my niv it for it. I think I just need to survive and then clean up with one of my five big fatties here. Like I think I think this is how I win. <clears throat> Well, I, I'm saying it could kill it on the stack there. And, like, if I go shock, they go unbreakable, like, tr trigger nib. They go unbreakable. But I guess they do it with the nib trigger on the stack. If I hit two one-mana spells, I can kill their thing. How's it going, Drake? <coughs> um, I think I'm just going to submit... Like, I think we need to slingshot up to our, like, one of five of our biggies to, so to, like, seal the game up. So. At work being unproductive, nice. All right. I mean, this hand's pretty solid. I didn't have to go to work today. The old government slack over here. Ooh, no turn one play from our opponent. All right, I'm going to shock myself and hold this up. <clears throat> and then if my opponent doesn't do anything, I can just play a tap land. Okay, that's nice. So let's do this now with this on the stack. Um, so I think I want this. And I think I want this enough, like, to where I will just deal with this 1-1 one -one eventually. Because I really don't want to lava coil this and then have them play the stupid uh, Banalish Marshal. Though I can just Melody the Marshal, but that's kind of a ways down the down the field. You play Treasure Map. Yes, I am very lucky. I think I would rather just shock this, deal with the 1-1, one, one, and then be able to kill Banalish Marshall. And, like, while that sucks, if they play, like, History Banalia, <clears throat> I would rather... I would rather save my Lava Coil. <clears throat> like, this kind of feels bad, but... I could have just not done anything to it and then opted on my turn and played a tap land. 
Yeah, that's that's the beats. But I, mean, I doubt they're gonna play around spell pierce. Um, put on. I guess it's just a removal spell, so we're gonna put it on top. We can take a token, which is kind of nice, and shiv and fire something. So that's probably what we're gonna end up doing here. Oh no, not that one. Like we're probably just gonna like shiv and fire a token. Uh, take a token, shiv and fire a token. And then we're gonna hydroid crash this next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to deal with this right now because the Hydroid Crisis will check this. <clears throat> and this uh, this Knight will block this, will trade with this Bodyguard. Venerate Lockstone's kind of annoying. Yep. Oh, wow, that's a nice draw. So I can go Lava Coil this, Shock this. I kind of want to do all of that now before we get blown out by Unbreakable Foundation. Is this a knight? No, it does pump it. I think I'm going to deal with this. Like, yeah, I, I take two from this thing, but the Hydroid Crassus will check it. And it was protecting it, right? Yeah, so we might as well just do that. Get in there. <clears throat> you guys still talking about what's going on in that matchup? All right, yeah, sweet dude. All right. Um, I don't think having this 3-3 uh, three, three is worth the 2-life. Like, I would shock here if I could get another card, but I can't. Okay. So now we'll just play this tapped. And pass. <coughs> I'm saying about a 3k, so I lost. I mean, I don't know block. All right, so I think my opponent has an answer to a nib visit. So let's just pass. So I would like to get a trigger out of my nib, whether it's like, and it gives me the opportunity to draw like opt, or I've got two shocks left in my deck. A trade. All right, Legion's Landing, you got it. <coughs> yeah, I think we're still just going to pass. Yeah, I don't really want... I want to get something out of my Nev. And, like... My opponent's not doing anything, so they're sitting on probably a million either counter spells or okay. So now we can do something with Nev. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And now we get to kill this and draw an extra card. Bang. Bang. Nice. Um, the root bound Craig's the worst one. Bang. So this is a problem that these these Drake decks have. And like I'm playing 24 lands, and with a bunch of cantrips, like you're going to flood out. But now we're like a hydroid crash away from the game being over. Well. Ask and you shall receive. Four or five. Okay, so we're just going to do it for six because it being six and seven doesn't really matter. And we could hit a spell that does something. 
Yeah, dude, all you have to do is ask. All right, we still have a lot of lands. Ooh. Interesting. So, oh baby. My opponent doesn't have any counter spells up either, so we're just going to brown them now. They lost connection to the game. Oh, are you serious? They just lose connection now while I'm streaming? This is so annoying. I am owning. I'm not owning as much as you were with lands. Yeah, see, they just like, all right, so this is what we do when this happens. We, you take a screenshot here. I'll save as, you blast them on Twitter because they're a piece of garbage. And then you report them. OP disconnected after getting to an unwinnable spot instead of conceding. Name and shame. And it's all right. Because we can just go back and uh, we will have time to report them. I'm just sad that you guys have to watch this. Well, it's like a very difficult deck. I doubt their PC crashes the second that like I go to Crushing Canopy, this Conclave Tribunal to get my niv back against two X1s with four cards in hand. So let's go... Um, I don't even know how to report someone. The policy agreement? Does it help? All right, ready? Everyone else here can watch this as we're, we're all learning. I'm doing well. How are you, Mike? Report a conduct violation. We'll, we'll go back onto the deck here. It's just like, don't do this. Like, you're you're just garbage if you do this. All right, report contact, my email address. I don't know my DCI number off the top of my head. Type of report, player, person. Um, where did this occur? Magic Online. OVDW person is, I can't even, they probably do this on purpose because they do this all the time. Oh no. P, P E R O. And like, yes, this is annoying. And I'm sorry that everyone has to see this, but this is the right thing to do. <clears throat> Game ID 6638. Three seven six eight zero. Description: OP was in a position that was likely insurmountable and disconnected after being rude in the chat. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to submit this. I'm not going to add the picture to it. The picture doesn't really do anything. All right. I'll be right there, Twitch chat. I'm just calling my opponent a tool because they are a tool. Okay. Now we're back. Eyes, thank you very much for the subscription. They do lose after 10 minutes. It just sucks. Yeah, we got to keep Phil thick. Yeah, but I don't even have priority.
All right, I'll go add the picture. <clears throat> I'm gonna go grab a sweatshirt. While we're grabbing the sweatshirt. Does that work? Uh -oh. oh, oh man. All right, it didn't work. It didn't work, Twitch chat. Phil is too, Phil is too clever. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Let's go back to the deck here. Phil is thick and many more. <laughs> Delvin Mears, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, he probably is. I, c I actually beat a ghoster on Tuesday night. Like, his, like, I tweeted it out. I was on last Wednesday. He was in my chat playing Shadow versus Burn, and he still lost the match. And that was so awesome. Yeah, everybody in the chat was appreciate the subscription. I want everyone in the chat to say a prayer, though. Phil gets neutered on Friday, on Thursday. He doesn't even know it. Poor guy. Poor guy. I can tell he was in the chat because his Twitch name was the same as his Moto name. And then I had to defend myself to people on YouTube that said that it wasn't cheating. All right. Yeah, poor little guy. <clears throat> because I'm that good. That's how. No, he got. I think. I think I drew well, played well. I drew well and played well, and I think they didn't draw very well. Like we we drew in such a way where we could strand skewer cards in our opponent's hand. Like we knew their hand was like three skewer the critic spectacle cards excuse me and like we would just counter the lava spike or thought sees the lightning helix so that they couldn't end up casting all that stuff my see that's my, my twitch and mode are wildly different yes that's what you got to do Bill doesn't know whether he wants to wake up or sleep. Whatever he does, he doesn't want to miss anything. I, I think they're good. I think that I think that they might not be good against like a deck that is full of disruption to punch holes in them. But like, it wasn't light up. They were both uh, they were both skewers. They were just skewers. I played burn for a league. I thought light up was pretty sweet. Not a league. I played it against Tron for my with my teammate who was playing that event. <coughs> Shattering blow confirm Max Doofus life. I guess I can go back to what I played in the Modern Challenge this weekend. We can talk about that for a bit. No, this is. No Lava Man Shadow right here. Move over. Clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, I'll go with what I was doing here. Moto's tweaking out, though, so it might take a second. No, this one isn't it. Okay. Is this what I played? In the challenge? No. Where was it? No, right here. That wasn't it. This was it. Yeah, this is what I played. I cut Lava Man, sir, because I thought Lava Man was pretty bad. Um, let me figure out how way I to make this like 
easier to present to y'all. And I just played like, I played two lightning bolts and four fatal pushes. I played one veil because I, I didn't really know what else I wanted. And I, I like Liliana better than the veil better than Hope, but that's pretty much it. Dude, somebody has to defend him. I like the deck. I'm, I'm a little bored of it. Like, as much as I think this deck is good, I do not think this deck is very much fun to play. Because, like, it's very stressful. Like, in order for me to do well with this deck, I need to be in the right mindset. And if I am in the right mindset, then I'll do well. But it, it's just difficult to play. Do I want to help my parents? But not my mom. Yeah, I mean, if there's humans left, then I think that humans, like, if humans could just figure out what was going on with their, uh, if humans could figure out their Phoenix matchup, then I think humans would be a very good deck to play. But it just doesn't seem like it can. But yeah, I was just like sick of Lava Mancer. Like, it just like I wasn't boarding it in. The place I was boarding it in, it was mediocre. <sighs> I had our two rounds. Um, I think Hercules Recall is narrow. Like, this is my whatever ceremonious rejection is is like I, I kept in four cards that are specific against artifacts. Like the shattering blow is cute and I get what it does, but like I'm already disrespecting humans enough that I think I wanted to play the Abrade, even though I knew I could get browned by the four-color word deck with the uh, rejections. <clears throat> Let's see how much time's up. I'm going to use this opportunity to go to the bathroom. And we'll be right back. All right, back. Um, you like recall more than blow? Yeah, sometimes you just need a turn against a worm coil engine. <clears throat> I would be much more into a Hercules recall than a blow. I think. I think that I'm like the problem is for I think for me to play like a Hercules recall or, or a shattering blow, I just have to say like fuck humans, and I'm not sure I can like actually say that. Because, like, if I play against humans, I only have two cards in my... I have three cards in my sideboard that I'm happy bringing in. And I have, like... I have, I have eight cards in my main deck that I don't want. Yeah. God, I love it when people are just... Oh, we won. Great. We're back. Can you just accept lose two humans? 
Yeah, I won before I left. Yes. Oh, did I? Did it like? Did it say that I won? <coughs> oh, dang. The problem is that, like, humans can, like, very easily beat Shadow with their sideboard. Unless you draw Battle Rage. Battle Rage goes over the top of everything. But, like, they can incidentally beat Shadow. Or with, like, they can have, like, Campbell or Oriok Champion, you know? Just Reflector Mage. All right, we'd like to play first. I would like to play. I would like to keep. I would like to put that on the bottom. And we're going to lead off with a breeding pool. Tap a Ruski. I think, I don't necessarily think that. I, I don't think they're easy. I think they put enough pressure and disruption on you that it can still be difficult. What do you guys, is this like Jody Keith deck? I haven't played against this thing. Uh, let's get to the pool. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is Joey Keith's deck. This is a treasure map that's kind of annoying. Okay. We got to save this Lava Coil for Rekindling Phoenix. All right. Them ditching that is nice. That's, like, probably the best card in the format against Drakes. <clears throat> Not even a play here kind of blows, but it's kind of where we are in life. Oh, wow. Oh, they didn't cast it with Spectacle. Okay. I thought they were just going to, like, ditch six cards. And just be like, YOLO. All right, what do we got? What do we hit? Shock? Not bad. So if our opponent plays Rekindling Phoenix, we're going to go... Uh, yeah, we have a pretty solid turn here. Kind of sucks. We can kill everything, but it kind of sucks that we don't. Like, we can just go bang, bang, and attack, but that leaves us pretty open to, like, a Siege Gang Commander. So I think we're just going to go Lava Coil. Play Terramander. I'm going to shock one of these. Well... Am I a beat down? I think I'm the beat down. I think I'm the beat down. So I'm not blocking this. So this is three. Yeah. The shock's not gonna do anything. We have a siege gang commander covered. Uh, one to my LGS today for modern shadow one today. Yes, that's the nice part. Oh, this this sucks. That's the nice part about playing Death Shadow is that like there are so many decisions that happen in every game that it legitimately feels like my fault when I lose, which I like. Like, I like it when it's my fault, you know, when I can say, like, okay, well, I didn't lose this game to variance. Uh, we're going to use our mana, and we're going to hope to hit a land drop off of this. Gas. Uh, we're not blocking with Terramander, so we're attacking. If my opponent plays an Eldest Reborn, I'm going to ditch this Terramander. All right, there's the Siege Boy. One CG boy. Yes. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. We can't play. We can't afford to play Niv Mizzet. I don't think. So let's get this. Nice. <clears throat> so, what happens if we wait? If we just level up Terramander and wait. My opponent, with an attack attack, my opponent can send how many goblins? One, two, three. They can kill one of these. Yeah, that's just not worth it. I would like to be able to get, get my value off of Niv, but 
And I think I'm just going to hold because um, because I think with niv it the longer this game goes, the better it is for me. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I should have leveled up my Terramander with that on the stack. That was stupid. Oh, that was stupid. Oh my God, that was loose. All right, so we're gonna block here. Block here. Just level up Terrence, get it shot. I would love to have I would love to have an additional five five. That would be great. But I'm an idiot. Okay. Tilt. All right. Oh, that's frustrating. So if we'd uh, if we'd have leveled up correctly, we would have eaten this. And then we could go block, block, block. One, two, three gets in. Then they send, they kill my niv it, which is kind of bad. A spell there would have been gas, but we didn't hit it. Yeah, Terrence didn't deserve it. I should have grown it with, with the niv, with the commander on the stack, but it just didn't. <clears throat> All right, this is good. I think niv is probably like excellent in this matchup. Um, disdainful strokes likely pretty good. Dive down's probably not great because they have the Eldest Reborn. Um, Spell Pierce is probably good. Negate. Well, the problem is like I want to be able to counter. I want to be able to counter Rekindling Phoenix and the Eldest Reborn, but I don't want that many counter spells in my deck. So I think we cut these. We might cut Terrence. <clears throat> Shock is pretty medium, and I'd be willing to bet they sideboard in such a way where Shock is bad. So maybe I want, like, negate, maybe, like, two Shocks. Do my Negates make it in there? Where are my Negates? Oh, they got put in the lands. <coughs> Yeah, Shivan Fire is probably better than Negate, or better than uh, Shock. You're right. You're right. You're right there, Mike. Isn't this whole deck Sans Freewheeler? But, like, I don't want to, like, I don't really want to be one for one with all these creatures, right? Like, I kind of just want to, like, defend, 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 and then hit Niv or Hydroid Crisis and pull ahead. <clears throat> Though I'm on the play, maybe that means... Does that mean I want to be aggressive if I'm on the play? But I don't really want to have Terry and Fiery Confluence. Yeah, I'm over it. I'm over it. Who would like to play first? And we have 24 lands, so I would like to keep. I think treasure map is something that we really want in this matchup. Like it's gonna explode us with mana and it's gonna or provide us card advantage. Like, and it's gonna it's gonna find us lands. Cinder Baron's control. Put on the bottom. Growth spiral, not a land. One time. Give me a land. Help. Oh, baby. I'm going to sit up for this crap. Well, we deserve that. And now they map first.
I don't want to play Magic anymore. <clears throat> Probably don't have time for Treasure Map at this point. My opponent says, oof. Okay. I yield. I yield opponent. We used our one time. There's too many one times. All right. I mean, we're going to lose games like that. I don't know if it's, like, maybe we're supposed to mulligan, but I think Treasure Map is, like, really where we want to be in that matchup. Hydroid Crisis is just value. We have two ops, so we get to look at, we're on the play, so we get our draw step. Two looks at opt. Two looks at opt. So we get five looks at a land. And if we find a second land, we're in, we're in like, you know, we're in good, we're in a good spot. <sighs> Dude, you need greed to win a GP, right? Dude, Steve Kryzak, I can't really, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he has the best Kologon's command memes. Like his whole, his whole like Twitter thing, he just memes about Kologon's command. And it's hilarious. All right, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, I'll come back to that in between. That'll be an in between the round. That'll be a waiting for new match fun thing. I had a soul raid, a FW wins. I don't know what that means, Johnny. I will keep my hand. We have a charter course and we're on the draw. All right, I'm going to shock myself because I want to shock something next turn. So that I can freely chart a course on this turn. Yeah, they're all great. Okay, so if you're a little adept, revealing Merfolk Branch Walker. All right, I'm gonna shock this. Feels bad, but I think like this game is likely gonna attrition out, and we need we need time. All right, nice. So now we're just gonna grow spot. Oh, we're not gonna grow spot. God damn it. I'm all over the place today. I think we can ditch this second chart. That's all right. Next turn, we can go Growth Spiral into Stomping Ground, Hitchland Harbor, Opt. I just, like, can't play Magic. Like, I sit there and I, I like, think about things that I want to do. And it just, like, doesn't happen. Yo, thank God they got rid of that Hadana's Climb. I'm not sure I can beat that card. Silver Girl Adept. Okay. Well, I'm going to do all this stuff now because I don't want it to get countered. I doubt there's a chance my opponent doesn't have any main deck counter magic. Ooh. Yo, this is why Growth Spiral is insane. Because now we're just going to play Niv on turn four against the deck that probably can't kill Niv Mizzet. Or I could just draw two cards. Yeah, this stream is not for the tight plays, it's for halfway decent analysis and then comedic mess ups. Like, I had that sneak and show player dead to rights, and I was like, I will not do the play that I said I was going to do. I will not stifle your land. I shouldn't. No, I don't want F6. To explore, someone call Alex, my boy. God, it's kind of sweet that Hydroid Crassus works so well with Niv. <coughs> All right, so we play land. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like Steve, it's 1.30 a.m. Absorbed casting costs is blue, is blue, white, blue. That's all. 
Steve's great. Wildly entertaining. I will yield until the next time. So they drew that. I think I'm just going to slam my niv it Because no matter what, they're going to kill it with, like, whatever, this that dumb spell that... Um, I would think I bought of that. Like, and then we're going to be able to pick off one of these cards and draw a card. <clears throat> and then next turn, we'll Hydroid Crassus and Opt. So, like, yeah, we don't get, like, any super, like, you know, niv it doesn't take over the board this turn. But it's going to get me, like, a three for one if they kill it right now, which looks like it's going to happen. Which kind of feels bad, but then Hydroid Crassus is just the biggest thing on the board. Okay. And then there's a chance that my niv it like, still just trades. I'm going to put this one in the graveyard. It might have, like, a find finality. I don't know. We can, like, cast find without black mana. So, like, I mean, at worst in this situation, I drew a card, killed something. Oh, they have their own crisis. I, I drew a card, killed something, and got a 3-3 out of it. Yeah, so we'll just take the old... Oh, sh God damn it. I'm delusional. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait one turn on the crisis because I can do it for another point next turn. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We can lava coil the. But I'm going to be using my mana for the rest of the game. So I think I'm just going to take one of these things off the battlefield. And I'm not going to shock myself for this to cycle this opt. I'm, I'm going to wait because, like, there's a very reasonable chance we hit a Niv visit in this Hydroid Crassus. And we just draw a million cards here. I just did it again. That's like the eighth time this stream. But I've been like, I'm going to make a halfway decent play and then just like, it doesn't get from my brain to my finger, to my hands. You know the problem is? I'm left-handed and they only make these my, these mouses, mice, mice. They're, they're specifically designed for left-handed people. For right-handed people. They don't care about us lefties. I eat your board. So if we hit a Niv, like, we're going to be able to do some damage. <clears throat> and it's nice that we can still Lava Coil this. So, like, even if they kill it somehow and, like, this thing's a problem in the air, we gain three life and can still deal with it. All right. Well, we didn't hit anything that was super wild there. Um, I think I'm going to start serving with this. Dude, we need to find him. I need a lefty mice. They don't care enough about us. I'm not going to attack. I, I don't really want to trade. I should probably should have just traded. Big mice isn't handless. I was more just like memeing because like I was trying to make an excuse for my incompetence. I'm gonna try it. Let me see what let's see what it like does with the mic. Because I think this mice is actually this mouse is actually like two-handed. Like it's not like it's built anywhere. Hadana's climb. Oh the I have to click with the wrong hand. Oh, this is weird. Dude, that Hadana's climb is gonna kill us. <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to put both of our creatures in front of this Hydroid Crasis. Why did it didn't attack? The problem is every one of these threats is like, creatures is a serious threat now for the rest of the game. <coughs> and we're at 11.
time. All right, I think we need to look for a way to clear the board. That's pretty solid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm gonna hydroid crassus one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna hydroid crassus for six, shock something, play Terramander. Cause like the hydroid crassus still trades for this. Let's just attack first. Let's see if I can leave a red mana up. Play this, play Terrence, <clears throat> play my boy Terry Tate. All right, looks like my opponent's gonna take a turn off from using it. All right, that thing's a problem. Okay. I would like a Niv-Mizzet. I really would like a Niv Mizzet here. All right, well, there's another Terramander. Let's play this first. Dude, Terry, Terry's my boy. Okay, so I can attack for four, set up to block with Terry, Terry and the gang, and then look to crack them for like 78 with this Crackling Drake. Alternatively, I could just chart a course now, which I think I'm going to do before I attack. I think it's I think it's an easy enough discard of this stomping ground to where I don't have to worry about it. I think it's still now. I think the problem is this thing is going to turn into such a massive problem that I do kind of want to make some inroads on an attack. So I'm at 13. If my opponent doubles this thing, then like whatever. I can get in with Terrence. Shock myself to 11. Get in with Terrence for five. <clears throat> then plan on attacking with both of these. I can go like block, block. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're, I think Terry's getting in. Because this is five. I guess four plus that is works better. So yeah, let's just attack with the Krasis. And then I'm going to shock myself. And pass. <coughs> I like him nine. I like it less now that we cast chart. <coughs> okay. You draw a card. Well, this isn't a 10-8, but this is. <clears throat> we are in a little bit of trouble. Like, we are going to have to make some, like, might have to make some bold attacks next turn. What if I just take this? If I just take this, go to five, they block here. They block here. Another attack would have been good. Joe's right there. So if I just take this, go to one. My opponent doesn't use it. Pump Terrence. Then we've got, they have to block this. And they take 14 and they're at one. Damn. <clears throat> I think we just take this. Unless me blocking and them pumping makes a lethal attack. So if I block here and they pump, then I kill them in the air. So yeah, I'm just going to block.
No, Joe was right. Now there's dead, right? Yeah. I'm not sure they were just dead even if they didn't do that. They, they jump up, they block this, they take nine. Yeah, I think my opponent has a very legitimate way of win that to win that game. Joe is always right. Craig is always right. <coughs> okay, so I think I want Crushing Canopy because it hits flyers. I don't really know what else I want. Spell Pierce doesn't seem great. It, it, it seems great at hitting. Yeah, I'm going to keep Spell Pierce in because it can hit um, Adana's Climb or the Incognuity card. Um, all my big guys are pretty solid. Disdainful Stroke counters Zagana. But I think that might be it. Shivan Fire is likely just better than Shock. Because, like, I'm not... I don't think I'm shocking my opponent's face often in this matchup. <coughs> I don't know if I want Shivan Fire and Shock, though, Joe. Melody's nice at taking Hydroid Crassus. Like, maybe I just want to go, like, full control and, like, cut Terrence. Bring in Melody's and, like, keep in one more shock. The thing is with this deck, I don't know, I don't know if my payoffs, like, are going to win me. Like, I don't know how hard I can lean on my payoffs. Yeah. <clears throat> so is Crushing Canopy lose? Crushing Canopy is probably lose. If it just hits, like, the only creatures, it only deals with Adonis Climb and then the creatures afterwards. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go for science. We're gonna just going to try to fucking turtle up. We're going to turtle up. We're going to bring in all the bombs, and we're going to have the bombs carry us. <clears throat> They've got uh, the Incognuity card, but they'll probably have, like, Deep Freeze after sideboard. Cannonade does do some work. Probably should have brought in some cannonades. Like they, they can outsize cannonade, but like it's probably difficult to do that. Like it's at least gonna hit the Lord and like Branch Walker, and like it does hit Silvergill Adept, which is like kind of medium because that cantrips. But better than not, we're gonna keep this hand. We need red mana, but like such is life. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance that by three mana, two damage is out, out, uh, outshined. Guess. Uh, we're just going to play this island because it turns them both on. You should be able to see the deck list in the cardboard live app. I'm not sure how that's going, but... Crushing Canopy. They keep it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I kind of just want to shock this right now because I don't want to get dive down. And then next turn I can go chart plus shock. And like, yeah, they get to use this, but I think I'm just more, I want to like, survive into the long game and like i think if i just like don't play games with them they only have four cards like i'll give them a loot and then i'll chart a course and then kill something else yeah i will kill that this turn as long as they don't shock here for a dive down okay i didn't see it i don't think it's i don't think it's unreasonable Uh, Spell Pierce is probably going to be... Spell Pierce probably isn't going to be that good this game. Like, I think if I wanted Spell Pierce, I would hold it right now. They have Crushing Canopy, but they're likely going to point that at my Hydroid Crassus. And at that point, it's done its job. So let's get rid of this Pierce. And again, we're just not going to get dive downed. I'm going to deal with this right now. 
we lose a little bit of smeal far, uh, feel smart play with our opponent but like you know that's fine yeah they can adapt okay so they still have crushing canopy incubation you got it so we have an interesting thing next turn where we might just like like none of these creatures are really worth killing like are we okay with just hydroid crashing for one them spending three mana to deal with it alternatively i could just like because i don't really want to kill this like if i'm lava coiling anything i think i'm lava coiling this land war elf to make it so that they can hydroid crashes for less because i think their last card's hydroid crashes We're not under any pressure, so I think we can wait on the Crassus. I'm going to do this now in case I hit a tap land that I want. Um, I don't think I want this tap land. <coughs> and then if we hit a red source, we can Drake. Something that I really like about this deck is that there are seven Rogue Refiners on turn four. You can just like... Oh, wow. Look how big our brains are. All right, I'm going to use my mana. Okay, gas. So I'm using my mana for the rest of the game, so I think I'm just going to smack this crisis. I'm going to ditch the... We want triple red for the old Niv Dad. So let's hit this because it tramples. This kind of feels bad. And then next turn, we can, if we find other things to do with our mana, we can just Crackling Drake. Like, we don't have to Krasis. Like, likely Krasis for six, for four is going to be our play. Jade Light. Okay, so, they, so they're drawn out of their land problems. Which one do they play? Uh, they played the forest. So they have Crushing Canopy. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to craze this because it's mana efficient. We might hit, like, multiple things to do next turn. Like, yeah, they get to crush and canopy this and crack me for five, which is a lot. But we're gaining some life here. We hit a shock and another crisis. I like this deck. I don't know how good this deck is, but I do like it a lot. Okay, so we don't know anything left about their hand. Adonis climb is wicked bad for the home team. They flipped it. No, they didn't flip it. One, two, three. Okay, so we can actually kill this to make it so they can't flip it, which is gasoline. And we're going to do all this on our main phase because we don't want to get uh, punked by a dive down. Yeah, I didn't see Land or Elf to start. We're going to do this right now so they don't flip the climb. And then we just, like, kill everything next game, next turn. <clears throat> oh, that's cute. All right. Um, they just scooped it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite part of this deck is the fact that you have, like, seven really solid turn four plays. Like, between these Hydroid Crashes and these Crackling Drakes, you just have, like, seven plays that are on four, you're going to draw a card. You're going to put you're gonna put something into play and then draw, which I like a lot. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's probably, like, a little too cute for standard, but, like, what are you going to do? I like this deck. I really don't know how good it is. Like, I played against, I played against Soltai once, and I just like I I, just, I actually just destroyed it because I had like a sick grill spiral um, draw that let me play. I played, I was on the play and I played Niv on four, and just didn't have an answer to it, of which I was lucky. But like I was just like, all right, if this Niv. Like, my hand was just a bunch of removal spells, and I was like, okay, I can get this on four on the play ahead of Vivian, and I could deal with uh, 
whatever the card is, Hostage Taker. So it was really like Chupacabra Contempt or like a two-mana removal spell that got me, and I, I drew a card off of each one of those. Yeah, we'll keep this. This is light. We're not gonna sh we're not gonna have to spell pierce on turn one. It definitely feels like if I get, I mean, it's it's similar to the Nexus decks. Like if you get a growth spiral draw, you're just doing better things than your opponent is. <coughs> It is just a little good. Just a tad. Phil's looking out the window. What do you see, baby boy? I see a whole new world, Dad. World that I see almost every day. I took Phil to the turf field today, and we threw the ball. He caught the ball. He didn't catch it. He chased it. He caught it a couple times. My opponent's just chilling on my end step. <clears throat> This is the problem here, like, and I know that I'm, like, biased from, like, the last time that I, this happened, but, like, whenever you're streaming and anyone, like, pauses for a little bit of time, you always worry that they're in your Twitch chat. Like, it's just, like, un, like, the, the, the specific pause, like, always gets me now, especially after my last one, which was just, like, a, like last week, which was just so annoying. <coughs> we got... The breaks beat off of us by the Rakdos mid-range deck. We just missed we missed our land drops actually. And we just died. And then we just beat Murfolk. The tier one Murfolk. Do you can pay me to put Murfolk into a Magic Online League? <clears throat> all right opponent's just chilling out here yeah i, I haven't played against it oh yeah because like if we well whenever you have a modal card that both sides of it are good because probably even both sides of that are good against soul tide because <clears throat> like pre-first hydro crisis they need all of their cards because they need to hit their land drops and have their spells to curve out and if you can ever, like, front half smoke a land of war and then back half, like, him them, it's just so good. Come on. Opponent's just chilling out. I'm going to make sure this isn't me. I'm going to go put up the deck here. Oh, that's a different deck. Yeah, dude. Blading's, uh, Blading's great. Oh, they're back. All right, I'm gonna. This is one of the matches where my my uh, my choice in lands is gonna hurt me, but we're going to spell Pierce to light up the stage here. I mean, they shouldn't do anything. They shouldn't invest any time in Magic Online because it's Magic Online. Tilt. Probably put into play a breeding pool. Yeah, but I, I just uh, doubt they're worried about that. <clears throat> I was watching Caleb Durward's stream on Friday night. I think it was Friday night. 
no, it was yeah, it was Friday night when he uh tired or he like I don't I don't remember how it ended, but he hostage taker locked. When I do play this, I do wonder if I'm playing like Rug and Growth Spiral, like why I'm just not playing Wilderness Reclamation. I mean, they're paying the streamers to showcase the game. They're not paying the streamers to win, right? Like, as long as they're playing the game and not saying it sucks, I doubt they care. Anything that goes on. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back while my opponent tanks. Okay, let's put in this breeding pool. We drew in the gate, which is good. I'm going to lava coil this. Then play this tapped. <clears throat> I might get to go like spell pierce, and then I might hold up negate to hopefully hydroid crashes for three cards. Rogue Finder gain life mode. Is that what you'd have done, Joey? Would you have just like shocked yourself, played like tapped and gone? God, my opponent's probably like double queuing. What a tilt. All right, let's play this Taparuskied. And hopefully, we get to spell here or something. Send the message forward your coil. That's what I was going to do. Get the Pyromancer. That Vera Shiro boy. I might shock myself, play Crassus. I think I'm going to hold up Spell Pierce. Because I don't want to get frenzied. I don't want to really just be a chump and take all this damage either. Then we can see what we drew to make some decisions on whether we want to um, <clears throat> whether if they go to kill this we want to defend it or not. So I'm cool just trading this with this Pyromancer. And I don't, I think if they go to kill it, we're just going to let it die. Unless we actually think Hydroid Crisis can outpace a Frenzy, which is likely not. The Negate and Pierce. <coughs> I'll let this go. I really just want to counter something where they invest mana on their turn. But if we had gone with your line, Joe, shock. They can do something like this too, which sucks. Yeah. Now I see the error of my ways. <clears throat> Now we're like a little handcuffed here. All right, we can get that. <clears throat> All right, so now I think I just, well, now we're gonna do this. So let me shock myself first, cause I'm just gonna counterspell something. And I've dealt like four damage to myself in my lands, you know. We'll negate anything here.
Okay. <clears throat> so I can have the gate. Because I didn't want them to, like, with it on the stack, shoot me when I didn't have negate and I've already used a spell pierce. I don't know. I guess I was just being cautious. I'm going to just kill this right now. I don't know. They might have done I was worried they were going to do it on the stack. And, like, maybe that's wrong of me to do. But I just didn't want to take three, I guess. Because, like, if I take three damage and I go to three, then I likely have to shock myself. Then I can't shock myself to one and I'm dead off the top of the deck, right? I guess, no, I don't go to three. I go to five and then I have to shock myself to three or play it tapped. And if I shock, if I play it tapped, then I lose to, like, I basically am dead to a frenzy. If I play it, um,. If I play it tapped, I'm basically dead to a frenzy. <clears throat> and if I play it untapped, then I have to counter any burn spell because I'm at three. I was just worried about them going for it when, especially after seeing spell pierce when I didn't have, like, oh, maybe they don't have another spell pierce. What is going on? So is this your personal Twitch account? Yeah, but like that's why I said I didn't want them to play Frenzy, you know? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to leave up a blue-red in case I draw Opt or um, Opt, Spell Pierce, Shock. Then after we're getting two life, we can see what we're doing. We're probably attacking. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack. <coughs> now it takes like, I guess even if they had like, Shock, shock, thing. We go to one, and we eat the Vero Shiro Pyromancer, and then we have negate for the rest of the game. So maybe it's loose because we're, like, in such trouble to, like, creatures. Okay. Green, blue. I'm looking for, like, more counter spells or more removal, <coughs> or just, like, another Hydroid Crisis. Probably should have played my land. All right, um, that should seal it up. Just, I mean, just another body. Like, there's nothing, like, there's nothing super special about Niv Mizzet besides it's, like, my opponent's still just dead without the Niv Mizzet, so I should have, I should have uh, bottomed it. But <clears throat> I guess if they go like, whatever, Lightning Strike the Drake, kill it with Firebrand. Though I'm probably countering that. I think Shock, hold up, negate, it's pretty close. So this is probably one point. But it's obviously probably off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, can I can I beat a Frenzy? I guess that's the question. And I, this, it might be my fault for not knowing, like, what is going on in Standard. Like, I don't even know if these decks are still playing Frenzy. So if I let this go, 
I still have 10 points in the air and they're dead. So there's no need in counterspelling this because I'm going to four and they need two spells to kill me. So it's either the last two cards in their hand. Now I negate this. Okay. <clears throat> so against mono red. I want removal, but I don't want that much removal because they are more of like a creature deck or a spells deck. But I think I'm going to cut Terra Manners. I'm going to bring in niv -Mizzet just because like niv is just another way to quickly close out the game. And I don't really have anything else to bring in. Like Fiery Cannonade doesn't do anything against one of the cards. I, I doubt I'll get a two for one on it on the draw. I think this is what I'm going to do. Dive down is like, yeah, I mean, they're going to bring in Lava Coil probably, but I think you can beat a Frenzy if you have Negate up the following turn. You think so? <clears throat> I have to go back and look. Because I played Hydroid Crassus. So basically they would have two turns with a frenzy, right? Because when I played it negated, I then played Crassus next turn, attacked. I don't even know if I attacked. I attacked and then killed them. So it's two turns. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not like the game's going to last that long. Also, do you fetch crack resolve instead of stifling show and tell? Did not. See you later, Johnny. <coughs> Glad my opponent is playing at a brisk pace. This will be my last league. I don't know what match of this league I'm in. I'm in four. So we'll finish these last two games. Then I'll call it for the day. I'm in a mulligan. I don't have any removal. I'm in a mulligan again. All right. We have some lands. <clears throat> All right. Lava Boy. This is a matchup where my, my mana base definitely hurts me. And I don't I don't even know if this, this mana base is correct. Like, I literally just took this mana base from a list that Andrew Jessup 5 owed with that was playing Frid Mystic in a Rug Drake deck. Um, yeah, we're going to go with this one. So, like, it might, it just might, it still might not be right. Like, it might be too painful for what it needs to be. <coughs> All right, I'm glad my opponent is chilling out. I probably have to ditch. 
rather than opt or a crackling drake. I kind of want to ditch a crackling drake. I don't think I think having three four mana plays is going to be too many. And I need to find like I need this opt to find like hopefully find like a shock or something to interact with the board next turn. Like if we can go like if we can go like opt interact tap land next turn that would be gas. <clears throat> My opponent thinking about Wizards Lightning me probably. That will deal three, six, seven, put me to ten. <laughs> then I essentially need to find a shock ASAP to kill the other runaway Steamkin. And then I'm probably Hydroid Crassing just to gain a life. What is going on here? My opponent is so slow. Ugh. I'm going to lose my mind waiting for my opponent. All right, lay up stage. I mean, at least that's not like directly killing me. Find a shock. Tilt. Uh, play this. I could play a zero zero Hydro Crisis and have it blocked. You can do that in Arena. I wonder if you can do that on Moto. <clears throat> so I'm taking seven, eight. My opponent gets to opt and light up the stage again. I could just not play this game anymore. I don't have to subject myself to this. Four. All right. Let's just untap. No, we're not going to untap. I yield, opponent. I've had enough. I tap. All right. We're back on the play. I don't think we want to change anything. All right. I thought it's probably like just double queuing somewhere. Double queuing is for sinners. Okay. I think we're going to shock Steam Vents and then we can uh, opt or Shivan, or Shivan Fire and then play a tap breeding pool because we can opt again. Not really down for like, I'd like to limit the amount of points I have to take off of this. Okay, that thing was did. I could kill, I could save this for a Steamkin, but I'm also going to like opt looking for a way to kill a Steamkin. We'll look on our draw step too. Uh, I need you and someone else.
Now, like, I like to shock now instead of opt because I would like to have my cantrip informed from my draw step. All right, that's nice. So now we're looking for like a land or we're looking for a threat or like a growth spiral. But we need like a land to pair with the growth spiral to make it really good. I guess we could have opted on our main phase in order to find, and if we like draw a basic island or like hinterland harbor, we could have played it again to opt. Yeah, that would have been better. I should have opted on my main phase and then just played a tap land. That was a mistake. Um, I think we're gonna put this on top. It pairs well. Like we're gonna go lava coil tap land. Then we can go charter course opt tap land. Okay. We drew another one. It's looking good, but we can ditch one to the charter course. So maybe I'm supposed to bottom because like drawing the fifth one's not very good. I mean, I do like the way this game's playing out, but. So here's what I could do. I could shock here and try to opt for a turn four play, but I have to shock into the turn four play, which doesn't sound great. Okay, there's the chain boy. Chain gang is kind of scary. This is why I boarded out Terramander. All right, there's the Niv Dad. So I could just ditch this opt to guarantee that I can cast Niv Mizzet next turn, or in two turns, which I think I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna shock myself to Lava Coil this. We're gonna play the breeding pool next turn because if we play breeding pool, then basic island still cast Niv. I guess if we play stomping ground, then basic island still cast Niv visit. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Breeding pool is a better land overall, though. A hydroid crest here would be nice. Okay, so there's the frenzy. Wow, ask and you shall receive. It's like the third time this league I've done that. Now, I think that Niv, Niv will outpace a Frenzy, I think. All right, I'm just going to eat the token. All right, well, let's see if Niv is it does it. <clears throat> My vote's definitely like double queuing or something. We're losing all the viewers because it's slow. Oh, that's nice. Does that still cast Nav yet? Red, red, red. Blue, blue, blue. Now, if we get Niv plus Negate, we should be in good shape. OK. 
Okay, that's kind of annoying. We need to eat both the tokens. We're at a highlight total, so like we're in good shape. So all the same stuff still kills Niv Mizzet. I guess like shock does it, but if they go shock into if they go shock into whatever it is, then we kill one of the tokens, one of the war bosses. Gas. All right, go here. Green, blue. That'll draw us a card, then it will draw another card. And if we find another spell, then we're in good shape. Because then we deal with both of the war bosses. We might probably just attack with Nim Visit. Like, we just handle the board and then <clears throat> hold back the Krasis to either chump block this uh, Steamkin. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, I am a, I'm a large fan of... I'm just a large fan of Nim Visit. Wow. So we're going to shock ourselves. This is going to go here. We just kill everything. And that's another reason why I like this rug version. Just because, like, Niv Mizzet just does so much work. I guess it's kind of loose for me not to hold up in the gate. And it like it just is a better Niv deck. <clears throat> I think this deck's good. I don't know how to build it really. I don't think it's a dive down deck. I would like to play first. Uh, I need to look at two new cards. I'm so tempted to keep a hand like this. Because, like, this deck uses its mana really well. I'm going to keep it. And it, like, turns on Growth Spiral as well. Like, this deck's really mana hungry. And... Like, we get to chart a course to ditch one turn one, hopefully recycle one into a spell. It makes our uh, growth spirals, like, just insane. Message me this list on Facebook. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you the text. You might have to remind me after the stream, but I'll give you, I'll give you like, a text one. Nope, the shaders are on. All right. Probably just stomping grounds. Ooh, gross. We did not we did not turn the charter course into two land two spells. We turned it into two lands. Now we're probably dead. <clears throat> Mono blue is not a deck to <clears throat> flood out against. Okay, opt is good. There's no curious obsession, which is the the biggest thing. All right, siren storm tamer. We can beat these creatures. Okay. Um. 
I'm just going to trade here. This thing's going to end up trading with this eventually. And if they tap out and go Tempest to Jin, then I can land my Crackling Drake. Maybe it's better to get the Herald while they're tapped out. But the Storm Tabor is just going to, like, eventually kind of maybe put me in a bind. Yeah, it was probably better. To, I mean... Maybe it was better to get the Herald. All right, so they charge. That's fine because we're going to be on the battlefield, which is what's most important. So there's no sense in lava coiling because they both, like, if they have it, then they can deal with both of them. I'd like to draw like four growth spirals in a row and then a hydroid passes. <coughs> this has to be a good sign. Alright, so we're gonna get whacked with a duder. God damn. Alright. Uh this was stupid because I, I planned on I planned on lava coiling one of these anyways, so I should have done it before combat to get another point. I think I just have to use my mana. Because, like, I need to rely on drawing spells that, like, do things for the rest of the game. And there's a chance that if I draw, like, a cantrip, it chains cantrips. I just need the most... I don't want to have, like, a lava coil glutted out. Yeah. Okay, so now we just play Stomping Ground Tapped. Oh, I should have played Breeding Pool. Okay, yeah, there's the Tricky Boy... Uh, he was last out of the eleven thirty. Just imagine. Yeah, I want this is my last match. I'm just gonna F two through this. My wife's home, so Phil's all excited. All right, there we go. That's what's going to beat us. All right, so we got to hit like a payoff here, like a Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet will be the best because they just can't beat a Niv Mizzet. God, that's like the fifth time this league I've asked for like a card in its game. Uh, red, 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 blue, blue, blue. Now, I don't know if I want to attack because I want to be able to block the trickster. So I don't think I'm going to attack. I think now that Niv's in play, I just want to make this game go as long as possible. Okay. So we'll get at one trickster. And then we need to draw, we need to draw spells. Because if we draw spells, then Nimbus will win the game for us. But if we don't, <clears throat> we'll die. A very sad and painful death. Alright, I'm gonna eat. Eat this. They can dive down and save it. But we get to kill something else. <clears throat> okay, so we'll pick off one of these heralds. That's nice because that's going to get that's going to kill one of their things. I don't even know why they cast that. I just wouldn't have cast. Well, I guess it dies anyways. My opponent taps out here. Yeah, that's... I think I'm going to wipe their board. Put this here. All right, let's... 
start here. Yeah. Get that out of there. All right, let's find a spell that counts. Oh my God, and I draw off that. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So we'll draw two cards. So what I actually should do with this Hydroid Crisis is just Hydroid Crisis. Now I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna save it for next turn and just clean them out. Just Hydroid Crisis for 72. Is there any way my opponent kills me? Like if they have three Curious Obsessions, I still only go to one? I guess I could just cast the Krasis. And then I have like a blocker. Yeah, whatever. There's no sense in sandbagging my mana when I have to visit. Like I'm going to do a bunch of stuff anyways. Okay. Nice. So shock myself. Shock this. <coughs> or you can just craze this into the perfects. That's what you have to understand, Andy. At this stream, we craze this into the perfects. I also just wanted to play it because I didn't want to have it like sitting back, not doing anything. God, this is like. They're just dead. They're dead before I even do any... Like, if I don't even... If I forget my Niv has text, they're dead. At least they're not, because they just blocked this to take two. God, we would have hit a growth spiral. Nut. All right, so we want this. We want the melodies. We want the fires. <clears throat> and we want some number of these. So, cards we don't want. Spell Pierce, Terramander, Negate aren't great. 62. I think Fiery Cannonade's kind of medium the more I play with it. And this deck, like, I think I need something else. Like, <clears throat> if I want another anti-creature measure, I kind of want, like, either... I kind of want another... Like, maybe, like, Raptor Hatchling's better. Like, I just play Raptor Hatchling and... Uh, or, like, play an Intangent Melody and a Murmuring Mystic. But this card has been medium. Very medium all day. The most medium. I think the I think the green splash really helps out with the control matchup. Cause you just get a man advantage, like you put dive down on your sideboard, which is nice. I'm gonna grab some water. You want to play with me? We can tag. We can tag team the stream, maybe. You'd be very good at it. I think my followers would rather see you than me. Um, I think I'm on a mulligan. I've only got one land. Grow spiral is not really good unless you have a lot of land, and it's just like a lot of air. It's not fake. Uh, I think we have to bottom this. We have we have two other Niv Mizzets. And it's gonna be tough to get to it. <clears throat> Raptor Hatchling's better against the mono white decks than Cannonade, I think. Oh wow, what a draw. So we're probably going to get uh, Trickstered into like 
We're probably gonna get trickstered into uh, whatever it is, curious obsessions, but like such as life. Dude, Phil is Phil is the best. Nice. All right, so we're not getting trickstered. I mean, we do kind of lose out on a little bit of mana, but wow, my opponent doesn't have another land. All right, I said we were going to find another new visit. If we hit a land, we're just going to play this Crassus. Terrence. Terry Mander. I'm going to shock this thing. Dude, it hurts me to kill PD Boy. Hopefully they spell pierce it so it doesn't die. If they like dive down here, I might just steal it. I think I'm gonna try to steal it. Both are bad to spell pierce. <sighs> okay. Dang. I really wanted I really want to take Petey. <clears throat> Petey's gonna be a problem here in a second though. Is Petey gonna get large? Oh um, can I beat this thing if it gets to be a five five? Probably not. So I will risk oh I should have tapped better. I will risk missing my land drop to deal with this thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The reason why I lava coiled it was because if they responded with a dive down, I wanted to be able to shock it. So, like, if they play that, I get kind of punished. But. Um, Okay, uh, I think this nip is going to be too slow. So what am I doing next turn? If I Crackling Drake, yeah, I think I'm just going to ditch the Crassus because I think my next turn is going to be like Drake plus another spell. And like Niv is just so good if we can get it to stick. The problem with maybe we should ditch Crackling Drake because at least like in the face of a counter spell, like they probably have Niv at least uh, or the Crassus cycles. All right, I'm going to upkeep Shiv and fire this thing. Because now they like if they counter it, they use the man on their turn, which might mean we can land Crackling Drake. We have to be a little worried about like deep in, or deep analysis or whatever it is from them that will make it so that my Niv will lose its abilities. I, mean, I still think we're just gonna jam it if we hit a land, but like it can be sad. Yeah. Niv miss it. Niv miss it. Niv miss it. All right, opponent's getting a little tricky. God, we can just wipe the board next turn. Okay, let's go. Here. That was wrong. Let's put this guy on the stack.
put that on there. So let's draw a card with Nemesis first. Okay, I have to shock this anyway, so I'm going to shock this with this on the stack. Uh, there's no reason to do that, I guess. I guess I might hit something. Okay, Drake's countered. So now I think I just growth spiral. Then hope my opponent doesn't have another trickster. So they counter, they counter. Like it doesn't matter if it's lava coil or shoot this. Done. And now we're just gonna attack because we lose to uh, we lose to Murfolk Trickster no matter what. All right, game over. Bang. We can still get got by a we don't we don't really get got by a trickster, but we don't deal them a bunch of damage here. Um I'm gonna leave this up. Because it, it being four power versus five power doesn't really matter. This gets us out of trickster range also. Okay, so they're gonna counter that, that's fine. <sighs> I think my opponent's dead now. Like now that we're at three, we still lose to Trickster, I guess. Trickster plus, um, Whatever it is. Uh, oh, I guess I could have melodied there. Or uh, charted, of course. We still lose to Trickster plus Curious Obsession, but like, we'll live life like that. All right, I draw a card. I'm going to do all this right now, even though it. Like, sounds kind of dumb, but, like, they could trickster me, and then we don't get the cards off Niv if we don't do a trigger. Okay. And, again, we're just going to continue to do the Niv visit triggers before attacking because we don't want to get trickstered. Like, it, it, it's it's pretty minute. doesn't really matter, but um, I think it's just a little thing that's going to be worth it. Like there's like a hundred percent chance we're gonna win anyways. I just think it's actually correct to cast all of our spells while we have priority, so that our opponent doesn't get us with trickster. <clears throat> and this would be more relevant if they were at like twelve. Yeah, they're just dead to this spell resolving. All right. All righty. All right, so we got the 4-1. Um, let's chat about the deck a little bit, and then I will call it a day. I think this deck is good. I'm not super sure, like, I think these have to go. I think these should be something like either like a Murmuring Mystic or a Raptor Hatchling to be able to help like the aggro matchups. Murmuring Mystics is like not as slow with uh um whatever it is. With uh with growth spiral. I think the mana base could also use work. Like I when I copied this mana base, I copied it for a deck that was like trying to cast uh Niv Mizzet. 
or not Nick Mizzou, was trying to cast Frilled Mystic. So probably something closer to Jonathan Job's list uh, might be better. But yeah, I like this deck. I think it's pretty solid. I think I'm going to keep working on it. But um, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. We're going to send you guys over to... Uh, we're going to send you guys over to... To Tannen, Grace. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and I will see all of you next time.